Hi guys, it's stencil artist Jan, and this is a, an unboxing and a building video of the Star Wars AT80 or AT AT as we used to call it back in the day. I think they're now called AT80s because of the ATST, but anybody from the past knows it's an AT AT. It's got all these cool figures with it. Luke Skywalker, Gerald Veers, two drivers, two stormtroopers, snow troopers, and yeah, get a speeder bike, that's a bit random, and you get one of the um, heavy lasers, heavy blasters. So we're opening it up. I'm going to do this in stages because otherwise I can't spend hours putting all this together. But let's see what we've got. Alright, so manual which is half an inch thick, eight, eight bags, goes up to eight different bags and there's multiple bags in each one, there's a two, there's a three and there's two eights. So it looks like it's going to be fun and it's got the magic extractor in it. I'll come back once we know what we're doing. Okay, bye. Okay, so we've built the first bag. And in the first bag, you've got the snow speeder, snow speeder bike in the back. You've got two snow troopers. And you've got, obviously, Luke Skywalker with the grenade that he throws into the attack and his lightsaber. And you've got one of the heavy blasters as well. So that was bag one. It's all really nice. That actually just sits there like that. You could probably alter that to sit into a scene by lifting the legs up and then having them slot in to um, a diorama if you wanted to. But yeah, that's bad. bag one. The obligatory spares that you always get. They give you loads of little extra bits and bobs. Um, and now onto bag two which builds it looks like the internal chassis part of the attack let's see how we get on okay so we've done the bag two which is the looks like the chassis of the project it's very technic lego it's pretty much at the minute all conventional pieces which i like uh, it is, you know every single block in here because they're all standard bricks. There doesn't seem to be anything specialised. These might be, but I'm sure I've seen something like this before in some of the um, big Technic cars they make. Yeah, it's looking good. You can't tell what it is yet, but it's going along the right way. Uh, onto bag three. And then Luke Skywalker vroom, 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 doesn't do that. Okay, let's see what we got. So this is bag three is now completed. Got bag four ready to go. This is pretty much a Technic Lego um, wrapped in a Star Wars skin. It's very intricate. Three bags in and that's what we've got. The harpoon gun underneath hanging down. The uh, Star Wave where the Luke Skywalker throws the grenade in. I put on the snow troopers there just for fun. A lot of this is kind of like there's the head section. I'm assuming um, there's the part for the gun to come down. But yeah, it's taken a fair time to get this far into it. But we will continue. Just finished bag four. So we put the tops on. We put the hinges on. We put some of the blast plating on. Put the back end on, that lifts up, that goes down, this lifts up. Got the neck part for the head. Looks like number five is putting all the shielding on the actual body. But it's slowly coming together. It's got it's quite interactive, it's got lots of different bits in it. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've done bag five. This is bag six. 
bag five was all the shielding and all the extras. This means that this goes up, that goes down, this goes up. These are pretty cool. These are the actual hinge doors. And they go on both sides. They fit really nicely, actually. And inside, you can put your minifigures, place them in there. So, and all this has got slight movement on it as well to make the doors fit better in there. Uh, like I've said before, it's quite, it's not one for children because this is very heavy going. It's been f three hours, three and a half hours to get to this. And there's still another three and a half bags to go. So we'll see how we get on, but it's looking pretty cool at the minute, I would say. There we go, the, sh the body is completed. Okay, so we've just done bag six. Well, now we've got these little spindly legs on. Stands up, kind of. Bag seven's ready to roll. I'm guessing it's gonna be the armor on the legs, looking at that. It's actually looking pretty cool now. These aren't amazingly supportive, but they are all jointed in different directions. So that's jointed there. And then the legs actually pivot left to right slightly as well. I'm guessing they have the extra movement in them, so it's always stable. And uh, it's not bad, it sits there. But yeah, it's starting to look pretty cool. Okay. Let's crack open the seven. Okay, so we've done the bag seven, which has got all the armor plating on the legs. It's made it a bit more secure. And we've posed the legs as well. Bag eight is actually two bags. I believe in here somewhere, that's General, that's General Veer. And that's the head. So it's looking pretty good now. Um, the only thing we've noticed is that you get these these flat one by sixes. They, it was missing one, and instead it had a spare uh, one by six with the bricks on the top. So we've had to put that on. But apart from that, that's the only piece which has been wrong currently. Bear in mind it's been hundreds. It's pretty good going. So we're cracking for these and see what we've got. So it's finally finished, it looks amazing. This was, um, look at the clock, you're coming up to six, six and a half hours build on this, but it's really, really good. It's predominantly tech, technic leather, and I start going, 